Hey everybody, over at uh, 1301 section 006, this is Mr. McNichol again. How are you all doing? Okay, well I had a great time working with you guys and telling you all about different uh, four basic different kinds of poetry. And uh, so remember once again, the ode is a poem that talks about a specific moment. Maybe it's when, like, when Mr. Keats saw those pictures on a Grecian urn and he had all these thoughts about it, like that couple that can never finish their kiss, well, they're never going to get older, and they're always going to be in that perfect moment, okay? Um, an ode is what you see in most pop songs today, as a matter of fact, okay? Oh, I'm feeling sad because I've been broken up with. Oh, I'm feeling happy because I'm so in love with somebody. It's usually talking about a specific moment in time, and the person who's writing that thing is trying to get you to feel what they're feeling because they feel so strongly, or maybe they just want to make money, whatever it is. So that's an ode. It's a poem about a very specific moment in time. So that is in opposition to the ballad, which tells a story. So we look at that one poem, The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Okay, It's a ship that broke up. Well, unfortunately, all the sailors were all lost with all hands on board. Okay. And it was sung by a guy who maybe could have been my dad if things had been different. But oh well, it's okay. I'm very happy with the dad I've got. So, anyways, point is, that's the difference with a ballad. A ballad, you could look at it and see that there is a definite plot to it. Okay, and Sometimes it rhymes and sometimes it doesn't, but that's what a ballad does. So it's usually got a plot, a beat, and a rhythm to it as well. Again, we look at another one, a classical kind of poem from William Shakespeare called the Sonnet. Okay, And the Sonnet, as I said, back in Shakespeare's day, people were, you know, kind of trying not to take him too seriously as a writer. It's kind of like when Steven Spielberg first got started out. He was 23. He made Jaws. Everybody was saying, well, we're going to snub him for the awards. Now, a good 40-something years later, suddenly everyone sees what a great filmmaker he is. But back then it wasn't the case. Well, with Shakespeare, you, he was writing plays that everybody wanted to see, both the lowest illiterate class who wanted to see a good fight and hear all kinds of bawdy jokes, and the upper class who liked to hear high poetry and things like that. Well, he was writing plays, but you were not taken seriously as a serious writer unless you could actually write a sonnet. And most of the time, there was a very specific type called an Italian sonnet with a very specific rhyme scheme. So what does Shakespeare do? Hey, Shakespeare makes his own kind of sonnet. And everyone likes it so much, they name it after him. The Shakespearean sonnet. And we use it today, and we are still looking at a lot of the sonnets he wrote. And a lot of his sonnets ended up picking on the kinds of subjects that the serious writers of sonnets would do. Okay, So that's one thing you can do. We'll look at that more when we look at another type of writing called satire towards the end of the semester. Okay, But Shakespeare looked at what guys like poet, Italian poets, like Mr. Petrarch, Francesco Petrarch, or Dante Alighieri, when they would write these idealized visions of beautiful women. You know, their skin is always pale, their hair is blonde like fields of wheat flowing in the wind, and they're, they're so holy, their feet don't touch the ground when they walk, they just kind of float from room to room, and their breath smells like perfume, and it sound, their, their voice sounds like music. Remember Shakespeare? We just take a look at that, and he's like, well, my mistress's eyes, they're nothing like the sun. Okay? And if hair is wires, black wires grow from her head. But in the end, he turns all that stuff on its head. And he says, you know what? My girl, she isn't like all those perfect girls in the other sonnets. But you know why? She's better because she's real. And that's how he just flips it in the last two lines. Okay? So that's one thing that poetry can do. You know, with rhyme and meter, he uses rhyme and meter, you know, like ba dum 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 There is a rhythm to it, just like there is in pop songs today. But he gets across a definite concept that he's trying to get you to buy into. Okay? And last, of course, is free verse, where there's no structure whatsoever. Okay? The cat sat on the carpet. Boy, I love my cat. The end. Okay? That's a poem if you want to in free verse. Okay? There's 
absolutely no intentional structure to it. Okay? So, what I asked you to do, what's due tonight by midnight, you, if you haven't turned this in already, and I'm getting the, all the grading done too, some folks turned in their biographies a little bit later, and I'm catching up on those as well. Uh, what you guys are going to need to do uh, is, I'm going to make this due probably after we meet on the 21st, because remember, next week is spring break, no class from Monday the 13th of March to Monday the 20th of March. So when we meet on the 21st, we'll talk a little bit more about poetry, and your portfolio, 10 poems, are going to be due that night by midnight. So you're going to want to get a good start on those. They can all be those sensory poems. You don't have to use the words I feel, I see, but you can use them like that. If you use and make an ode or a ballad or a sonnet, you know, I'll give you guys a little bit of extra points on that. Okay, because those are trickier to do. But if you want to give me ten free verse poems with the sensory stuff, knock yourself out. I'll be okay, and you can get full credit for that. Okay, I'm going to say goodbye for now. You guys take care, and I hope everybody has a good spring break, that you have a lot of sleep-in days, or that you get a lot of working days and make all kinds of money. I will see you guys later on. Take care. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.